What's up? Greetings to all. I wanted to uh, talk about a little bit about how to listen. How to um, compute information that is beyond logic at times thinking about, uh, I was talking with a friend of mine, I think it was like two days ago, and I told her, I said, you're asking me a question, but then I don't think you're listening to the answer correctly. And by that I meant, I think many times we ask a question, but then already we have ideas what the answer is, so we're, we're not even really listening. You know, we start to go in our mind about what we think the answer is. Um, Krishnamurti, uh, if you guys don't know who he is, you may want to pick up some of his books. He, uh, he talks about this concept of not accepting readily or rejecting what someone says. So what that means is someone's telling you about a certain truth about life, you shouldn't be already like, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Because as soon as you do that, you're going into your box of what you understand already. You're not empty. You're not ready to receive something new, a higher wisdom. Or readily reject, which is more obvious, where you should not just say, oh, that's baloney, without really internally inspecting what that person means. So he says that we should go on the journey. Go on the journey of listening to a master, you know, or listening to a friend, and absorbing that. I think many times um, when we're in an alternate state is easier because then the mind is more clear and you're just in the moment. But many times, for example, I was talking with a friend of mine about astral projection the other day about leaving the body. And at first he was like, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't get what you mean. And I told him it's because you're in your logical mind. Right now your left brain is completely in rule and so you can't even really hear what I'm saying because you're trying to not that astral projection can't be explained rationally but the experience itself in a sense is beyond the rational you have to get beyond the rational just to have one okay if, um, if I stay within my rational mind there's no way I could leave the body you have to go into imagination you have to go into feeling and that was really my point um, to him that if you if you want to understand what I'm talking about you have to go into your feeling and once you do that you'll understand everything and he got really quiet and I could see that he knew what I meant so that's why I wanted to do this video because I see within myself how many times I've done it in my path listening to my teachers, you know, listening to Baba, my guru, there's times where, you know, there's nothing too logical about what he's saying, or at least readily logical, logical, um, and so I have to go within to really understand what he's saying, and many times I'll understand later, or I'll understand in that moment, and there's somebody else who totally doesn't get what he's saying, because they're they're trying to break it down into pieces, a uh, ABC order that they already understand. And it's not something that's new. And when you think about it, that's what you're looking for. You're looking to gain more wisdom. And when you do that, you have to be in a state of emptiness. You can't come from what you already know or what you already think is false. So uh, that could tag team into another video I wanted to do, but maybe I should keep this one here because I wanted to talk about judgment, something I learned about judgment. So I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to split it up. I'm going to do a part two. So it's um, like I was just saying, what you think already doesn't exist. What, what you already think ha no longer has relevance. You'll place in your mind and then you figure, okay, well soon as this person said like I've had this is another thing I'm gonna just say I was gonna do a video about it but now I'm not gonna do a video I'm gonna just say this I love getting comments from people on uh, YouTube I love to uh, help people that's why I'm doing this you know to 
enlighten our consciousness to expand our minds and hearts. But sometimes I get comments where, or questions, where people are trying to already place me in a box to their understanding. So they're asking me questions. It's already a debate, right? They already disagree with something I'm saying. So then they're asking me a question or they're giving me a piece of advice. I just want to let you know, Don, that, you know, I love what you're doing, do great videos. However, this one little piece of information I think you should know because then you'll understand that what you really believe doesn't make sense. And um, that in itself is very high school to me. No disrespect to high school because young minds have a lot to say. But I just know when you're trying to persuade somebody of something, it comes from insecurity. There should be no need for persuasion because as soon as you're trying to persuade, that means you think you know something and you know something more than the other person. So, like I said, I'm totally open to comments. I love questions. I love good dialogue where we can build and understand together a higher truth. But even that truth is temporary. We can come to another truth. Um, so this is all tied into this idea of being in the moment and not accepting or rejecting and going deep within our feeling center to understand what someone is truly trying to tell us or what we are trying to tell ourselves. Until next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste.